Matt Pat has done it once again. He's theorized all over the place. He's theorizing everywhere. He's theorizing on the walls. He's theorizing on the couch. He theorized on the dog. He has solved the oldest Pokemon debate. Allegedly. Let's see what it's all about. I love a little bit of game theory. I love game theory. I love these. They're so fun. Pokemon I love sizes them. make absolutely zero sense. The Matt Pat is so based for immediately using my favorite Pokemon of all time. Immediate. Pokemon sizes make absolutely He starts the video with an Arcanine. Look at that. Most based. Zero so sense. based. I love it. What a it's good, the good guy. Charizard. Yeah, it stands at a measly five foot seven inches. Whoa, whoa, listen, to all the five foot seven inches out there, I want you to know there is nothing wrong with you, okay? There is nothing wrong with being five foot and seven inches. Uh, I'm, I'm a six one individual, and I want you to know there is nothing better about six foot people to under six foot people, okay? Do not feel bad about your height. It is something that you cannot change. However, you can, I, I guess you can get buff to like counteract it, right? He's a couple inches shorter than me. The formidable Lucario, he's... Oh, Matt Pat confirmed 5'9? It's 3 foot 11. It's not even tall enough to get on most Disney rides. Okay, if you're 3 foot 11, I'm gonna. I'm sorry, I have to say, it. you're small. You're just a small person. You're a very small and person. And for it, you know, the Pokemon that's based on a ferret is supposedly 6 feet long. Not sure I want that thing running up and down my pant leg. Anyway. I would. I, mean, it's cute. I think what do you mean? the point. The sizes listed in the Pokedex are all over the place, but there's one Pokemon that takes the insanity and turns it up to 11. Waylord. Float Whale Pokemon Waylord. For two decades, this guy has sparked fan rage, so much so that it's even spilled into the realm. University of Leicester. What? Does the Float Whale Pokemon really float? How can Waylord avoid floating into space? What? Is this someone's thesis in university? This is a 2018. What is this? Is this a dissertation? Waylord, the biggest Pokemon in the franchise, has a mass that implies that it is less dense than water and air. This paper, something, Waylord eats approximately 55 kilograms of food. What? Elm of a full-on academic paper. And all of it stems from one simple question. Is Waylord lighter than air? Seems like a weird thing to be asking about your 47-foot-long whale, right? Wrong. Once you look at the rest of the numbers- I like how they included the seven inches on the end of that, just to make sure that it was 100% accurate. Like, yeah, this guy's 47 foot, but he's 47 foot seven inches. We just need to Make that very clear, so alright? This has become one of the most controversial topics in all the Pokeverse. So today we're gonna be coming up with a definitive answer. Has the internet hit rock bottom? Or I honestly think that the biggest Waylord controversy is not is it lighter than air? It's why is it in the same egg group and thus can breed with Skitty. I think that that's something that people are much more focused on. That's weird though. Or is everyone else, including this Pokemon, full of hot air? Can it actually Hello, float? Okay. Welcome to Game Theory, where today we're going back to our roots, applying real-world research to fictional worlds. Break out the pixel rulers class, because today we're overanalyzing the disturbing science of Pokemon. And no, I am not talking about how a tiny skitty and a giant oh. waylord are meant to yep. breed. Not touching there it that is. one with a ten-foot Alolan executor. At least. Uh, I... <laughs> it's just... It's just a little strange. Not yet. Maybe one day. What happened? <laughs> what happened to shame? Hello, Internet, and welcome to Game Theory. What happened to shame? Why are we like this? The human race is doomed. Nope. Today, I'm talking about the fact that Waylord is light. Like, stupidly light. As I mentioned in the cold open, Waylord's Pokedex entries confused fans since it was first introduced in Gen 3. You see, Waylord's weight is listed at 877.4 pounds, or about 398 kilograms. That's no doubt heavy, one of the heaviest Pokemon in the entire series, but it is comically light when you compare it to your typical whale. Blue whale the thing that Waylord is based Okay, I'm gonna be the fun police for a second and give my actual what I think is the answer answer, which is the Game Freak employees don't really know what is that heavy of a weight for a blue whale to actually be, so they make it blue whale size, and they're like, eh, uh, 398 kilograms sounds pretty heavy, so let's just make it that. And then he put it that, and they didn't really think about it all that much, and now we're here. That's my boring, uh, that's what I actually think happened. M the actual... Dumb answer that might be correct is Waylord has nothing but helium inside of it. There is nothing inside of a Waylord. Stunt usually weighs somewhere between 290 and 330,000 pounds, or between what? 130 and 150,000 kilos. Pre Oh, I can't deadlift that. Practically 350 times the weight of your standard Waylord. So Waylord is a balloon. These guys are heavy, but not too, too heavy, you know? However, where things get controversial is when you factor in Waylord's other measurements. Waylord's quote-unquote height is listed at 47 feet, or 14 and a half meters. 0.7, 14, 47, 0.7, that's not... 
Let's not forget that. He's massively big for not a lot of weight, prompting many fans online to speculate that Waylord may in fact be the lightest Pokemon in all the games relative to his size. Some have even gone so far as to say that Waylord is so light, he's literally lighter than air. The is that possible? Air doesn't have a weight, does it? Does, does air have weight? I mean, I can't, I can't like, I can't bench press the air, can I? I'm not gonna get any muscle protein synthesis from this. I'm not gonna engage my core doing this one, am I? Like, that's not gonna, it's not gonna do anything. Well, air doesn't weight. Air has weight? Oh, wow. Okay. You learn something new every day. The argument's been so heated, in fact, that it eventually spawned a real research paper from a real university in the UK. And yeah, the, Matt Patch is dunking on the UK university. He's like, yes, a real university in the UK actually spent time on this. I don't know what they're doing over there. Those idiots. Why are they spending time on this? I thought you were supposed to be cool. You know, you had Oxford and all that. What's the rest of you doing? Morons. Idiots wasting the time on this. And their conclusion? Yep, Waylord is, in fact, lighter than air. Strap a string on that guy, you got yourself a big old whale balloon. Reddit, though, they weren't buying it because of- <laughs> I love how the video pivots from a university did a study on the subject looking at the intricacies and the real world complications and calculations that would go into this result. But Reddit didn't agree with that. Of course they weren't, it's Reddit. This prompted a massive post arguing the exact opposite, that no, Waylord is not lighter than air. If you type up a thesis on Reddit about how Waylord is not lighter than air, I think you should probably be put in prison. You, uh, th there's something wrong there. If you're titling your Reddit post an extensive write-up, is Waylord actually lighter than air? Then you should pro- like, uh, you might be in jail. You should probably be put in jail. The opposite, that no, Waylord is not lighter than air. So today, loyal theorists, we're gonna be putting an end to this seismic debate. We're crunching the numbers ourselves to see who is right, who is wrong, and who is super nerdy. It, it was all of us. All of us were super yeah, nerdy. Yeah, of course. Will Waylord, we were watching, watching game theory videos on YouTube, of course, with the nerds. Sail in the seven seas or floating amongst the clouds like a Thanksgiving Day parade balloon. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Morty time. Leave your what? theories in the comments What's Morty? below. I'm like the gym leader? Favorites in the Next episode of Morty. Morty, Matt Pat occasionally reviews theories. Yo, <laughs> oh, oh, he's reviewing someone else's theory, dude. He's doing a react. Oh my god, even Matt Pat does react. Oh, that's awesome. He's what he's me. He's just like me. So how does one go about proving whether a fictitious whale is able to float through the air? Well. This is way more high effort than my videos, though, I will admit. It comes down to a little scientific principle called density. Density is the measure of how much mass something has per unit of volume. If we have ourselves two cubes of equal volume, one made of yeah. lead and the other made of wood, the cube of lead would weigh more and thus be it's more, more dense. dense. If I yes. then drop that cube of lead into a fluid that's less dense than it, say water, the cube will sink to the bottom. If I drop okay. the cube of wood into the water, meanwhile, it would float since wood is less dense than water. Okay. It's all pretty self-explanatory stuff. It's also pretty pretty darn sure. easy to calculate. All you need to do is divide the mass by the volume and bam, you've got yourself the density. Classic equation, D equals M over V, DMV. One MC squared. Yep, I am just as much of a scientist as anyone in this video. <laughs> dreams go to die. So let's just take ourselves an easy example here to get warmed up. This is why I never bought a car. I mean, I'm also not American, so we don't have a DMV. I don't know what we have here. I literally never bought a car. Don't have to deal with any of that. My life is so much better from not having a car. Public transport saved my life. Also, the public transport is falling apart in the UK, so maybe I'll have to buy one one day, and when I do, I will be depressed. Voltorb. Voltorb is a nice round sphere, so figuring out its volume should be quick. According to the Pokedex, Voltorb has a height of 0.5 meters, or 1 foot 8 inches. Its radius is half that. It's so a short king. Five meters. And the formula for the volume of a sphere is V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. So plug it in our values, you get a volume of 0 0.065 cubic meters. You writing this shit down? Because, uh, yeah, I'm memorizing now, all, all this. Do to figure out Voltorb's density is take that listed mass of 10.4 kilograms and divide it by the volume that we just got to get a density of 160 kilograms per cubic meter. Com also, I think the Pokedex is uh, just averages, because obviously not every instance of Voltorb is going to weigh the exact same. It's like saying an average of a human weight is however many kilograms that is, but we, we all vary. We all go from, from low to high. Also, they have different sizes and stuff like that too, so more than average. that to the density of air, which is 1.293 kilograms per cubic meter, we can see that Voltorb is definitely not floating away on the breeze. But the density of water, it's actually much higher, 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. So Voltorb would actually float on the water, despite him being a giant metal 
metal ball. Which means in real life, you'd probably be able to teach your Voltorb how to use Surf. That being said, this is all pretty- But he would drown immediately on contact with the water, because he'd probably be like face down, or he could like try and wiggle himself around, but he's not gonna be able to swim. Voltorb can't swim, unless it could- Ooh, it could spin, it could roll Easy out. math, right? Here's the problem with Waylord, though. Unlike Voltorb, who's a perfectly shaped sphere, Waylord is a blimp-shaped whale, and finding his volume is not as easy of a plug-and-chug solution. So let's just take a look at how both sides of this poke puzzle tried to solve the problem. The university and the Reddit user. <laughs> What's the, what, what is this both sides? <laughs> let's see what both sides of this very balanced, equally placed arguments <clears throat> Let's see what they land. Problem. First, there's this paper written by William Farmer, a student at the University of Leicester who wrote an undergraduate research paper in the school's Journal of Interdisciplinary Science Topics. Oh, he's a university student. Okay, no, him and the Reddit user are pretty much the same. I say, love the fact that this debate's been going on for so long that the kids who used to argue about it on the playground are now old enough to write their own published research papers about it. Truly, William Farmer, you are a man after my own heart. If you're looking for a job, feel free to apply for theorist script writer. Anyway, he they probably have watched this video as well. Calculated Waylord size using pixel measurements in a classic theorist move, and he used a cylinder to estimate Waylord's base shape, claiming that the overestimates here, these empty parts where the cylinder is bigger than the body, those would help account for the parts that stick out, like his tail and his fins. The volume of a cylinder amounts to pi r squared h, so pi times the radius of the cylinder multiplied by the cylinder's height. So with a Waylord cylinder height of 14.5 meters and a radius at 2.855 meters, he figured out that Waylord's volume would be around around 370 cubic meters, making the density 1.08 kilograms per cubic meter, which is lighter than air at 1.23. Oh my God. So, case is that is that accurate though? Would the, is that actually accounting for all of the sticky out points? Because he made the estimation that the sticky out points would be accounted for by the fact that the cylinder is not completely engulfed in the Waylord. So, but does it though? Close, is that right? true? <laughs> No. You see, despite this coming from an academic journal, the paper makes a lot of assumptions about Waylord's shape and volume. The university is going to catch on to this. They're going to watch this video and they're going to revoke Farmer's university degree. They're going to go back and retroactively revoke it and be like, sorry, I watched a game theory that said you are an idiot and you're wrong. So no more degree for you, buddy. Sorry. He's got Reddit eager for a more precise solution. This post comes from the R Pokemon subreddit by user Petscott Miju, who also used pixel measurements, but this time refined Waylord's estimated shape. Instead of just reducing him down to a simple cylinder, they instead decided to add a hemisphere to each end of the shape. That way they didn't need to explain away as much empty space. They also okay. recognize that pixel measurements tend to be slightly inconsistent across different games. Games, and so they tried to correct for that as well. This How much time did they spend on led this? led their estimate for Waylord's radius to be smaller, 2.2 meters as opposed to 2.8. Their cylinder length then was 8 meters, leaving about 2.1 meters on each end for the tail and the head. In total, this refined equation where they added up the volume of the cylinder and two hemispheres gave them a significantly smaller volume, only 166.24 cubic meters, less than half what the academic paper had proposed. Divide Wait, less than half? It's mass of 398 kilos by 166, and you get 2.39 kilograms per cubic meter, which is nearly double the density of air and a vastly different conclusion than the academic- Oh, double the density of air. So yeah, it's not gonna float away. Okay. So it's not gonna float away. So Reddit beat the university student. Well done. With numbers like that, your float whale Pokemon here, he ain't floating anywhere. So which is right? Well, off the bat, the Reddit approach seems to be the more accurate method. While both options are assuming certain parts of Waylord's shape, the Reddit one is- I can't get over about Every time we see the Reddit approach is superior to the university it's one is so funny. Doing multiple calculations to account for the nuances of both his shape and the differences in pixel measurements across games. I gotta say it, my friends, I am on team Reddit for this one. But you guys know I'm not gonna just leave it there. These calculations no, of course. are perfect. Between He's gonna do it himself, and we're gonna find out forever to, to put this to rest once and for all. It's grooves, it's crevices, and the giant fins and tail. There is no perfect shape to truly describe what a Waylord is. It's not a cylinder shape, it's not an ellipsoid it's shape. It's just a Waylord, just a Waylord shape. shape. This oh! <laughs> he said it! Oh man! Oh, Matt Pat! Am I your script writer, Matt? Cause what is going on? This is where our two density debaters get into trouble. But what also complicates things is that the scale of Waylord has never been consistent. Since Waylord is so much larger than just about every other Pokemon in the game, it's always shrunken down so it can fit within the confines of the system, the battle- 
Yeah, not unlike Sword and Shield, though. It's, it is massive in Sword and Shield. Or the screen. And with Waylord being so large, any amount of estimation error gets exaggerated to become a whale-sized problem. Without factoring in that sort of inconsistency, who knows? You might conclude something insane. Like saying Wario is 10 feet tall or some ridiculous like that. As Thought a result, Rocket, my Rocket dearly beloved was? pixel what? measurements, they might not be the best tool to give us the most accurate... Wait, why are we using pixel measurements when we already have the measurements in the Pokedex? Wouldn't the measurements in the Pokedex be the most accurate when we know that in terms of video games, Obviously, the video games, what you see in the video game is not going to be what's reflected in the actual lore of it. It's like saying that in Skyrim, there's 15 people that live in a city because there's 15 people that live in the city when it's just the console limitations that's actually holding it back. If you were in a real city, it would be far too big and there'd be too many people to render on screen. That's why Skyrim is so small. Wouldn't you just use the Pokedex the Numbers stuff? in this instance. So how do we get the most accurate results and settle this debate once and for all? On well, the wise words of Patrick Starr, We have technology. Since the release wow. of both the Reddit post and the research paper, Waylord has made the switch to the Nintendo Switch with Pokemon Sword and Shield. In the Isle of Armor DLC, not there, there you go, see, he's huge in that thing. We finally get to see Waylord in all his blubbery glory, just as Arceus intended. Which means that we finally have access to a full 3D model of this Pokemon. No more pixel measurements based on weirdly angled sp- Oh yeah, you can, you can just like toss them in Blender now and make it like YouTube thumbnails. Required. This means that we can take this new 100% accurate 3D model and import it into a 3D modeling program like Blender. Well, this- oh. <laughs> I literally only know about Blender because Luke and Callum use that to make their thumbnails. They import the models and they make them stand in a certain way so they can get like nice screenshots and stuff like that for thumbnails. I don't even use it this myself. program is typically used for creating 3D models. It also allows you to do things like measure the volume of your, or in this case, Game Freak's creations. Therefore, as long as we have the proper scaling figured out, we can use Blender's built-in tools to get the exact volume of a Waylord. No estimates required, including the tails and fins. Now, up to this point, everyone's been using Waylord's Pokedex height to measure his length, which sounds confusing, but this is actually a common quirk amongst the Pokedex. Sometimes- Wait, it's not gonna be 47 foot tall that way, surely not, and what, like 100 feet? Oh, well, I guess it could be tall, but usually the heights are related to how long they are, like the longest point, because for it is around six foot. It's not, it's not six foot tall, it's just six foot in its total length. So the six, the 47 feet here should be its total length, right? Not just how tall the, from, from the tip of its head to the little belly button on its chubby little frame is, right? Sometimes it means vertical height, but other times, especially when you're talking about long Pokemon like Waylord, it means length. But just to make sure that we didn't get the math wrong, I wanted to be extra careful. So I took a look at every depiction of Waylord that we've ever been given, like the size comparison tool from Generation 4, or the player character standing next to Waylord and Sword and Shield. Give them oh, that is a beefy boy, Jesus. The trainers in the series are usually around five foot four inches. There's no way that Waylord- Five foot four inches. <laughs> I mean, I, well, actually, a five foot four inch 10 year old? Dad, that's really tall for a 10 year old, even an 11 year old, even a 13 year old, five foot- Well, actually, maybe not a 13 year old, but still. For an 11 year old or a 12 year old, that's pretty tall. 47 foot height in the Pokedex could refer to anything other than his length. So with that one settled, I was able to make sure that our Blender whale was scaled correctly. And by creating a mesh for him, we can use Blender's volume calculator to tell us that Waylord has a volume of 182.8557 cubic meters precisely. No estimates, no assumptions. That is the exact number. From there, all we have to do is divide Waylord's 398 kilograms by his volume to get a definitive density. Drum roll, please. Uh, the best we got? We got to admit, I, I don't know what we got to do at this point. I, I am, I'm perturbed by the lack of a solid drum roll, Yossi. Fix it, I'll man. do it. Pull out all the expenses next time. I want to- Okay, here you go, my Pat. I, I, I opened a video called Drum Roll. Uh, okay, drum go. Roll that will melt mines. Promise? Yossi, I, I put you in the shaving episode, so you better promise me. Thank you. Where was I? Oh yeah, his true density. Waylord's true density is 2.18 kilograms per cubic meter. Which means that I Let's can now say without a shadow of a doubt that Waylord is not lighter than air. Even if you don't we include did Waylord's it. tail in the overall calculation, it still wouldn't be enough to get him airborne. And honestly, all this checks Waylord. out, Waylord being lighter than air would have broken the other information that the Pokedex tells us about him. Waylord's Pokedex entries going all the way back to Sapphire tell us that Waylord can knock out prey by the shock of its splash, which, you know, is going to be pretty hard to do when you're so light you can't even hit the water. So there you have it, my friends. The yeah, I mean, I legit just think that they were working at Game Freak one day. They were like, ah, let's do Waylord stats. Uh, 398 kilograms. That's like, that's like a lot, right? That sounds really heavy. Let's, yeah, let's just plug that in. Let's plug that bad boy in. Looks like Matt Pat won. Reddit came pretty close. 
And university students are dumb. And this is coming from someone who used to be one and almost dropped out because I am dumb. <laughs> Not even smart enough to be a university student. I am smart enough to react to videos though. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that bat like button. And if you wanna see more from me, then you can. If you wanna see more from Game Theory, the link's in the description.